Let's move on. Tory MP is at the centre of a race round after he told a constituent that there were more black criminals than white ones. Bob Spink, who represents Castle Point in Essex, said the problem was being ignored despite hard evidence. And earlier on Sky News, he defended his right to raise the issue. I think it's raising political correctness to new heights to claim that simply quoting the facts so that the public are aware of them uh, is racist. I, I think we've got to address this difficult problem very seriously. We've got to tackle crime toughly and eradicate it where we can and if we don't tackle these difficult questions then we'll leave a vacuum for the nasty extremist parties to come in and fill and nobody wants that. However, the chairman of the Commission for Racial Equality has denounced the MP's comments. Um, I think that they reveal something about Bob Spink, which is that he hasn't bothered to ring the CRE and check some facts. And if he wants to, we'd be very happy to give him some facts, because that, what I do know is that that is clearly just not a factual statement. It's absurd. Well, joining us now is the chairman of the Black Police Association, Alfred John. Mr John, thank you for joining us on Lunchtime Live this afternoon. Um, how do you feel about what Mr Spink had to say? Well, I have to say that it's extremely unhelpful. Um, we've worked for many years with the Metropolitan Police Service to try and build good relationships with our hard-to-reach communities. And frankly, he just doesn't help by making such statements. I remember, in fact, um, the former commissioner, Sir Paul Condon, making a similar statement about ten years ago and actually facing the same ramifications for that. But is it true? Um, I don't believe that that is true and I believe that in actual fact, as in all crimes, there is mitigating circumstances that must also be mentioned. Does he actually mention the fact that um, as a black person, black youths are more like, six times more likely to be stopped and searched than their white counterparts? Does he actually mention that as far as DNA is concerned, 79% of black youths have been captured on DNA? Um, compared to 22% of the majority culture. These are the things that you have to balance statements like that with. Okay, so if he had come out with those facts and figures, those statistics, as, and then went on to say that um, more black criminals than white ones, then, then it would have been okay to say it? Um, I dare say again that I would question the judgment of making a statement like that as to how he felt that that was going to help any scenario whatsoever. We have to be careful, and people in position should be more careful, with regards to what they state. Do we now state of all the crimes? Um, what are the ones that, in actual fact, are committed by the majority culture? I think that we have to look at things properly and holistically before we start making statements like that, which will be seen as sensationalist. And how would you react if he had gone on to say, um, we can assume that most uh, terrorists are Muslims? Um, and again, um, it's a dreadful assumption to make. Um, unfortunately, because of um, um, recent events, the um, media has focused on Muslims. Um, but in actual fact, the Muslim culture is a very peaceful one. And I think people have actually forgotten that. Now everyone's associated Muslims along with terrorism. And that is simply not the case. I think that, it, again, it's about smarter um, reporting. It's about smarter um, people making basically smarter statements that don't inflame um, hard-to-reach communities. So even if it's factually correct, you still shouldn't say it? I think that there are circumstances whereby, no, there are certain things that you shouldn't say. Um, what I will ask, on the basis of making that statement, how has that alleviated any situation whatsoever? It creates more problems when you actually start separating social groups, even white groups, to, to, to problems. Whatever problem we have in this country are associated to this country. They don't get separated into groups. They're simply problems to do with this country that we have to resolve. And just one very quick thought there. I mean, what would you then say, Mr. John, to people who say, you know, you're the chairman of the uh, Black Police Association, but we wouldn't have a White Police Association? <laughs> well, to be perfectly honest, I mean, the Metropolitan Police has some 17 staff associations, but at the same time, it is the minority groups that tend to suffer um, a heck of a lot more than the um, majority culture. Statements made by um, Bob this morning um, like that only go to emphasise that particular point. Alfred John, thank you very much indeed for sparing the time. Appreciate it. Thank you. And you can see the full interview with the MP Bob Spink on the web. Have a look and then why not email us with your thoughts on news at sky.com.
We'll also hear from uh, Alfred John on the website again if you'd like to make the comparison of the two. Do let us know what you think as a result. News at sky.com. What's happening a little bit later on this afternoon? Let's find out with the lovely.